Section 11.6 is called conditional probability, and this is going to be extent, an extension of what we just completed. In, in general, um, the probability of event 2 occurring, given that event 1 has happened or will happen, um, the time relationship does not matter, is called a conditional probability and is written as the probability of event 2 given event 1. So that vertical bar that you see between event 2 and event 1 is read as given. So when you do this situation or this type of probability, you need to assume that the first event, event 1, has already happened based on what has already occurred, what's the probability of the second event happening? So for example, let's say we have a single card is selected from a deck of cards. Determine the probability it is a club given that it is black. Okay, so if we were going to write this in words, we're looking for the probability that we draw a club given that on the first draw we already picked a black card. So how would we figure that out? Well, um, if you look at the deck, there are 26 black cards that are available. So you already know you've pulled a black card. So instead of looking at the full deck of 52 cards, you only need to look at half the deck of 26. You were told you have a black card in your hand. Now, based on that fact that you know you have a black card in your hand, what's the probability of those 26 cards that you draw a club? Well, keep in mind of the 26 cards, half of them are clubs or 13 of them are clubs. So the probability of drawing a club, given that you know you have a black card, is one half. The formula is, may seem a little confusing, but it's, it's not as bad as it seems. So for any two events, event 1 and event 2, the conditional probability that event 2 happens given that event 1 has already occurred is determined by the following. So to find the probability in the numerator, you need to find all the, the total number of items that satisfy both event 1 and event 2. So if we're talking about the card situation, that would be all the cards in the deck that are clubs and black. So that's where that 13 came from. And then the bottom is all the cards in the deck that satisfy event one. Well, event one was all the black cards in the deck. So in our deck, we have 26 black cards. Now notice they're using an N because they actually want to know the number, not the probability. So they want to know the number of black clubs in the numerator. And in the bottom, they want to know the number of black cards in the denominator and then you reduce the fraction. So let's look at a pretty in-depth example, and this is gonna be, you're gonna have several of these on your homework where they provide you tables. 250 patients who had knee, hip, or heart surgery were asked whether they were satisfied or dissatisfied or neutral regarding the results of their surgery. The responses are given in the table on the next slide. So if you read across the table, First, knee surgery patients, 75 were satisfied, 20 were dissatisfied. So there was a total number of 95 patients that had their knees um, operated on. Hip patients, 90 were satisfied, 15 were dissatisfied, 105 people total had their hip worked on. Heart patients, 45 were satisfied, 5 were dissatisfied, there was a total of 50 heart patients. You can also read down the columns if you want to. In the satisfied columns, there were 75 knee patients, 90 hip patients, 45 heart patients, 210 people total were satisfied. The dissatisfied column, 20 were knee patients, 15 were hip patients, 5 were heart patients, 40 of the 250 were dissatisfied. And then notice the 250 on the bottom right, that just totals up both columns and rows, there should be 250 patients um, total. So if one person is selected from the 250 patients survey and they are selected at random, determine the probability of the following. So if one person is selected at random, determine the probability that the person was satisfied with the results of the surgery. So notice this is not a compound probability situation. 
All they want to know is the probability that the person was satisfied. They didn't add, say like given something else or anything like that. What's the probability the person was satisfied? Well, if you look at the satisfied column, there was a total of 210 people that were satisfied out of a total of 250 patients satisfied. So if you want, you can just reduce that fraction. The probability is 21 over 25. If one person was selected at random, what was the probability that this person was satisfied with the results given that they had knee surgery? Okay, so that is going to knock out all the heart and hip patients. And you are going to focus specifically on the knee patients because you were told they had knee surgery. So based on that, the fact that you were told they had knee surgery, you're only looking at 95 people. Of those 95 people, what's the probability that the one you picked was satisfied? Well, there was 75 out of 95 people that were satisfied. Reduce your fraction and you'll get 15 out of 19. What is the probability that one randomly selected person was dissatisfied given that they had hip surgery? Okay, so again, in this situation, we get to eliminate our knee people and we get to eliminate our heart people and focus solely on the hip people. In the hip group, there was 105 people that had hip surgery. Of that hip surgery, how many of them were dissatisfied? 15 out of 105 were dissatisfied. And then you can simplify your fraction and you'll have the probability is one out of seven hip surgery patients are dissatisfied. Last one. If you selected one random person, what is the probability that they had heart surgery given that they were dissatisfied? Okay, so in this situation, you get to knock out anybody who was satisfied. Shh, they're gone. We need to focus on the dissatisfied group because they told us we know that this person was dissatisfied. Well, given that they were dissatisfied, we had 40 clients that were dissatisfied. What is the probability that if we selected someone from the dissatisfied category, they would have been a heart surgery patient? Well, there's five out of the 40 that had heart surgery. Reduce your fraction. One out of eight dissatisfied customers were heart surgery customers. Okay, this should get you a good start.